Hello again, everyone. It is the Black Knight, and it's a special time here in GTA Online because this week they've got double money for all Simeon missions. And I know that is the most minor part of the week because there's double money on heist, different heists, and things like that. But for me, the Simeon missions are great because there's something you could do while you're doing something else. Because it takes just a couple of minutes of effort. It, they're easy. They're low risk. As a matter of fact, instead of doing this in my uh, my normal armored Karuma or something fancier, we're gonna do these missions in a Cheberek. Do I just just for sheer, you know, meme style here? We've got the, the Cheberek going. We're in a closed crew session, so no one's gonna bother us. And hopefully, you're not disappointed by that. But what I've done is I, I've made a uh, a variation on my normal Lazy Contacts playlist. This is the normal Lazy Contacts, which involves Blow Up, Death Metal, and Blow Up 3. Now, two of those are Simeon missions. And they're very, very low stress. The Death Metal, well, you have to kind of shoot at everybody for a little while, and it's, it's a little bit more effort. But there's no double money on, on Death Metal. So I decided to make Parking Attendant, which didn't have I didn't have enough room for all the letters I wanted for some reason. I don't know, it wouldn't, didn't work. So we, Looks like from races of random, there should have been enough letters. Now, nah, maybe we'll fix it later. We can, let's see, can we, can't we edit that? I mean, you know, no, it's, we can't change the name. We have to just, let's just, so we, just, no, this, no, we don't want to save our, that, do you want to lose your changes? Okay. My playlist, parking attendant. Okay, and the reason I said parking attendant is that's largely what you spend your time doing when you're doing anything with these races. As a matter of fact, the only other thing you do more than that, and you do a lot more of that, is being parked. So, we set this to hard because really it's not that hard. We've already got all the ammo we need. We really don't need any armor. Even with the Chebrek, I don't think we're going to need any armor. Certainly not for the first one. Blow up one. Blow up two, you have to escape police and stuff like this, but blow up one, what? This is just, you know... We get in the car, just to keep it close to where we're going to be. Now, normally, if you would attack this without thinking about it, what you would do is you would go here. And you would get out your rocket launcher, and you'd just start blowing up cars, which immediately the police are going to come and get you. That, that's all there is to it. But you know what? The police in this game don't really care very much if you just move the cars. Somehow this doesn't constitute stealing them. So there's no there's no uh, repercussions from just reparking them. Hey, maybe maybe you're just the new parking attendant. That's right. Now the advantage of this is this allows us to save a lot of ammunition and therefore a lot of money and a lot of time when all is said and done. And back this around this way. Ooh, look, it's parking simulator. Yes, folks. Parking is just, you know, you have to know how to park. Especially you have to know how to park them absolutely very close to each other. So that if one explodes, they all explode. You see, it's a domino effect kind of thing. That's what we're shooting for here. Literally, literally shooting for. Or more, more tossing for. Really, it's more of a toss kind of thing. Now, you don't have to do this last bit. Just I could theoretically just park this truck right next to that uh, the green pickup there but for style points come on up somebody it, it will do this really easily it, it'll go up there almost every time i've often wondered if i live just sit there long enough it'll just squish that car into the ground and cause it to explode and then get a chain reaction you don't have to do anything but it's just much simpler you give it a toss pink Bink, pinkity everything goes at once now I just have to... You notice, I didn't even get a wanted level. Now I'm staying outside the parking lot. I don't know if that's the that's the trigger, if you're too close to them. Whee! 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 Now all we have to do is go back. Theoretically, I could go back, claim the mission, and then um, you know, get some money. But the, the way to really do this is if you... The mission has to last 10 or 15 minutes. I forget exactly how long. If you let it sit for a little while, and what I usually do is I bump it into the wall, 
And then I take something and I jam it into the keyboard. Like, you know, a credit card or a store card, something like that. Comment in the description below if you really like sheets. Now it should be noted that uh, if you don't have bulletproof tires, these are going to explode in very short order. Don't know if you can eventually just destroy the car that way, but bulletproof tires, that would be a good thing. Now, the nice thing about this is I can leave this car here all day long if I want. All night long. Doesn't really matter. It's not going to time out for being idle, because as far as the game is concerned, I am flying down the road. It's, I'm driving. We're doing stuff. It's all good. Now, you don't need to leave it there for days. It'd be really kind of nice if you could come back in three days later and get like $20 million or something like that. But it doesn't work that way. It caps out. And uh, really, there's probably like an optimal point. It's probably like after five or ten minutes. It's, it's, you know, where you're making money as fast as you possibly can. If you really want to grind these one after another. Well, what I find is, you know, let's say right now I want to go pay some bills. Just let this go. If I let it go 10, 15 minutes, it will be more than maxed out. And we'll get the uh, most money we can. And actually, what I'm going to do right now is go see if I can find my stamps. Okay, so I disappeared for a little while. And by the way, you don't have to. There's, there's no requirement to park this right there just to kill the time. The whole point is just to kill the time. You could just stunt out here. There, there's a really good stunt right up the road. We zip up here. If you're feeling like stunted. Because, you know, stunting is a thing. We have have a little bit of fun right here. We have you. Whee! Trying to kill enough time. I'm willing to bet that I'm going to end up being a little bit short on this. Because I found the stamps quicker than I thought I would. Whee! Oh, that won't count for anything. Alright, well. Whee! All right, let's cash this in and see how much we get. Uh, the maximum is just under 38k. It's like 37 blah 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 for this. When the money is doubled, and the money is currently doubled. Thank you, that's right. Hey, all right, yeah, here we are. Perfect. Well, not perfect, but it will do for now. Perfection is a cruel mistress. Just like your mother. Not your mother, but like his mother. You know, it's talking. To... Hey, that's about right. That's about, you know, just like you said, just under 38. So that's pretty close to max, I would think. I think that's probably it. And the next mission here is uh, blow up three. I skipped blow up two. Like I said, it's a little bit more annoying. We were looking for the lowest amount of effort. This is low effort money making here in GTA 5 Online. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, let's... let's do the time warp again. And of course, it immediately worked as soon as I hit the button here. Turn, put it on hard. Purchase all ammo. That only cost us $250, which in this game, nothing. Confirm the settings. Let's hit play. Boom, boom. Oh, it's raining. Okay. Now, this requires a little bit of precision. You want to be precise. Which is hard to do in this car, but we're not going to really need the car all that much. At the end, we will. Now, these guards. Not the most observant people. Now, I think I have a suppressor on this, but not a silencer. Let's get that red and then... Did we get him or is he still... Yep, we got them both. Not a lot of bullets spent there, folks. And, you know, you can make yourself feel better by imagining that they're terrible people or something like that. But it's a video game, okay? Let's not worry too much about that. Once again, we go into full-blown parking attendant mode. Oh, dear, it's raining. We've got some bullets or something. we got some money there. That doesn't really matter. But, hey, you don't want to waste anything. Get in the car. Now, again, you can just take a rocket launcher and start heaving grenades. But then people will come to kill you and it takes time. It takes money. But look what we have here, folks. Look at this. We have two explosive tanks right here. And all we have to do is collect these cars. Maybe we'll speed up time a little bit in this particular section. Oh, 
Oh, here's here's one interesting point. See these two boxes? The Mustang here, the Dominator. Generally speaking, let's see if he'll do it. Come on. Oh, come on, you always do it for me. I always accidentally clip into one. Make a liar out of me, why don't you? It'll, it'll drive over them usually. I have to hit it just more straight on. This is not part of the technique, by the way. I just wanted to do something. And there! There we go, yes! You can drive right over those boxes in, in the Mustang, which I think is the funny thing. But, guess what you can't drive over the boxes in? That's right, the 4x4. Won't do it. Well, at least it's an SUV, I assume. Yeah, there we go. It's, it's four wheels spinning. Won't go over a box, though. And the last car, and if, if you've been paying attention, I'm fairly certain that as soon as I crash this Cadillac into the door of the other Cadillac, I'll be three doors down. You get it? Because I knocked off at least, I think I got three other doors, right? Did we get three? That's one. Um, didn't we, where? Let me pop that, there's two. And now there's one other one. Is it that? That door! Yay! Three doors! The joke works. Or fails to, but fails to not because of any kind of factual issues. Now, all we need to do... Let's get my favorite gun here. Do, 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 There, AP pistol. Look out the window. Book it. And the job is done. That, that's all there is to it. Well, it's still getting home. We start some challenges with that. And the one thing you don't want to do is follow the yellow line out of here. No, 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 no. People are going to be coming to you along. Oh, they're coming after me now. And I'm not in an armored car, but I can get away. Whee! Woo! Oh, ah. Come on, Chevrolet. That's the first time I've ever done this with a Chevrolet, by the way. Usually I do a little bit of a... A stunt with the uh, Karuma. I didn't want to get. I didn't want to wreck this and not have it work out. So now we've got to run away here in the chamber. And the running away part—that's that's key. Oftentimes you're right on your tail. This time, not so much. Come on, come on. Let's chamber wreck this. Check yourself before you chubber wreck yourself and okay, we're just gonna Take that corner. Woo woo! Oh dear. That's a particularly good pull. Uh one thing I'll point out while I'm wiggling my way out of here is that in this particular area, I'll, I'll point it out to you. That corner, for some reason, every once in a while you'll come through here and everyone goes hostile. Like there's a glitch or something that happens and everybody in every car starts shooting at you. Which, if you're in an armored Karuma, is fine. If I was here in the Chevrolet, might be an issue. So far, I have uh, been able to escape without any uh, any loss of health, which is a good thing. And we zip our way back here. Zip around, zip around. Rinse, lather, put the card in, repeat! Alright, let's see if that was enough. It did some bills and, you know, did a couple things and might not max it. I can tell you what the number is if it doesn't max it. Roughly. Interesting, interesting. Well done. It's about 39 and change if it's if it's maxed. 39k, double, if, if, with the doubler on. Yes, that's the number! 39720. So we maxed it out. Now, 
if you're not really fond of the whole parking attendant vibe that, you know, going through these emissions, but you've invested a little bit, if you've got some money in some other vehicles, then, uh, then these, uh, these missions can have a completely different flavor to them. Yes, if you have something that is built to blow things up, it's all a completely different deal. Now, I just did just have a thought. I think, you know, with the vigilante, you, you can have some extra fun with this. Which kind of gathers them together a little bit, you know? It's just... It's just, you can tuck everything up a little bit, like, let's back it up. You have to, you don't want to be completely just, there we go, and it's, I don't know, all kind of in one place. I think some, did they disappear? And we'll go around here, make sure we're on missiles. Got them all. Everything's destroyed. Some of them are still burning. But, uh, yeah, like that, like this, there we go, there we go, secondary explosions there. Secondary explosion is going to seize. Yeah, I just drive it on back. Rinse, lather, repeat. Now this is very interesting because it looks like it looks like the outside tires are the only ones that are smoking. It's almost like the inside tires have a, they're, they're not touching. There's a, a slightly smaller radius on those so that they're there for more off-road kind of issues or, you know, if stress is being put on the suspension. But they're not touching. Look at... That's, that's kind of neat. Thank you, my boy. Thank you. I am honored to call you my son. Why another mother? If you know what I mean. Ah, peace and love. <laughs> you have done me proud. <laughs> okay, did we milk it adequately? Did I leave it rammed into the wall long enough? No. Could have gotten another four grand out of that. But at least we didn't leave anything on the table. We didn't leave it there too long. So... If you're grinding it, that's perfectly fine. Just keep move on to the next one. Keep the, keep the stuff moving. You might actually make more money per hour if you do get less money, but you're doing it at a faster rate. You know, it's just like races. If you if you milk them out to uh, normally without double you know multiplication, but if you take it out to eight thousand, you're not making as much money per hour as if you get five thousand. It's either eight thousand every eight minutes or five thousand every four minutes. So therefore, the faster money if you're going to be truly grinding it. Is with a little bit less. And I, don't, I don't know what the optimal is on this one. Launch it on my own. Sure. Why, would I, why wouldn't I launch it on my own when I can just do missile kind of stuff? So now, this is a little trickier because you do, you know, you, you do get attacked more quickly. Missiles. See, do they react? There we go, see? Did we get them? Oh, here we go, see? Now this guy's here. Oh, the firemen are coming now because things are on fire. As they would be. They're gonna be more so soon. See, I love that hook shot. You know, the hook shot. Now we got everything, and we could get like twenty or fifty dollars by cleaning the stuff up off the ground. But you know, I don't even know if that person really needed to be killed. Is that one of the bad guys coming for me, or did people happen to be? That's a bad guy. I say bad. I'm the I'm the one blowing everything up for no apparent reason. Jump this at not too high a speed. Woo! We could have did a course screw, but we don't want to do that. We don't want to end up upside down. I have done it where you hit that, if I hit the rockets while I'm doing that, you go right in the rocket. So, try to save the more, you know, be a little gentle with it. Now you can lay on the rockets. Get back to base. Excuse me! Traffic you a little bit busy here. Probably gonna end up flipping somebody. Come on. Nope, nope, he's on the brakes. Around the corner. 
Now, as you can see, I did take some damage here. I did get shot a couple times because this car is not armored. If you do this in the uh, armored Karuma, it's pretty much a walk in the park. They really can't get to you very much. But, uh, yeah, this, this does it with a little bit more flair. Hi, look at that. If you look really closely, I don't think those middle wheels are touching. Are they touching? Are they slightly forward? I mean, they, they've got to be just that little bit smaller. Funky. Great. Well done. You are very resourceful. I like that. Really, I do. Okay, did we milk this one? I bet you not. I bet you this one was probably a little short. Yeah, short. But, still trying to roll on to the next thing here, you know? You don't have to kill it. You don't have to bring it all the way to 39,000 every single time to be making good money. So, I hope you found that video informative and interesting and useful. And at least it's an idea for, you know, when you want to play video games, but you have other things you need to do, like pay bills or chase children or eat, use the bathroom, all kinds of sort of things. You know you need to grind that sweet GTA money, but you also have to live. <laughs> On that note, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night. What on earth?